Testing one, two, three. Last question today. What makes Roy Cohn tick? Dora Cohn wanted a different son from the son that God gave her. And that imbued him a sense of shame about who he was. His father gave him the language through law and politics to express his shame. Roy Cohn's contempt for people, his contempt for the law, was so evident on his face that you knew you were in the presence of evil. He was like a caged animal. If you opened the door, he would come out and get you. He's this bridge between the legitimate and the illegitimate world. When John Gotti walked into a bowl and shot a guy in the head, Roy managed to get Gotti off. We have Cohn investigating homosexuals very aggressively. But he was the one who threw the good parties. And there were rumors he was picking up male prostitutes. He could pull strings and bring people together. He could pull strings and make people do things. I was in his office when Nancy Reagan called and thanked him for getting her husband elected. Cohn looked at Donald Trump as a protege. Donald had the money, and Roy had the balls and the shrewdness. Attack. Don't settle. Don't apologize. Attack. When you look at Cohn's life, you're shining a light on demagoguery, hypocrisy, and the darkest parts of the American psyche. According to Roy, Roy was responsible for everything important that happened in the United States. 